Hi everybody, my name is Scott Cortier and I have a quick video for you today highlighting a new SVG import tool. Uh, this SVG import will bring in SVG graphics, uh, scalable vector graphics, into the Aviva Industrial Graphics Editor in Aviva InTouch HMI 2023 Patch 1 and the upcoming uh, Aviva Edge 2023 release due mid-2023. Uh, what is this? So first of all, it's going to convert from um, SVG graphics to native industrial graphics. And this will allow you to use uh, third-party vector graphics applications such as Adobe Illustrator, Figma, Vecteezy, Inkscape. And by the way, these are not sold or supported by Aviva. They are third-party tools. And uh, I'm going to uh, quickly demonstrate uh, uh, Inkscape here today. So why are we doing this? Well, um, we've had some customer requests to do this, but uh, it's an important step forward in uh, uh, allowing uh, graphics. So these will be vector graphics. They're basically de defined by math as opposed to individual pixels. So vector versus raster. And they'll be infinitely scalable without loss. You won't have uh, pixelated uh, images if you scale them up or scale them down. And um, why are we doing this? Well, often um, system integrators and a lot of our customers will, will hire a third-party design team to create uh, user interface elements, such as a dashboard, uh, layouts. And uh, so again, you can use the third-party uh, vector graphics applications that I mentioned above, uh, or um, uh, things like uh, uh, being able to very clearly define shapes and sizes, specific RGB values, uh, and again, in these uh, having these third-party design teams do these, uh, as opposed to somebody who's familiar with these industrial applications such as InTouch HMI or Viva Edge. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here. Um, this is uh, Inkscape. And what I've done is I've set up, uh, uh, I created a new uh, image, first of all. And one of the things that you have to be uh, aware of in, uh, in Inkscape, and I don't know if this is a specific uh, SVG uh, naming uh, or if this is only Inkscape, but uh, you have to set up the view box. And to set up the view box in your height and width, in this case, I've done 1920 by 1080. Uh, the first time through this, I did this with the, uh, the default front page here as 1920 by 1080 but when i brought it in uh, the view box was set to something smaller and it scaled uh, and, and again this is all based on math so it wasn't exactly right so what i did is i changed the display units here to pixels then set up the view box to match the 1920 by 1080 and that imports just fine so again this is on the document properties um, and I'm assuming that there's other other similar tools within the other other uh, graphics editors as well. What I wanted to show you here is I've got the uh, layer pane open and I've defined, uh, for example, and I've given it a name here and I'll show you why I've done this in a minute. But here's the large right pane. Here's the bottom left pane. And then what I did is I made these three little individual panes here uh, out of two separate uh rounded rectangles and I've named them and grouped them. So I've named them right pane and this is made up of two different rectangles, a purple one and a white one. And I've done the same thing for the right in the middle and the left pane. And then I've grouped them all together uh, so you can see that grouping in there when we bring those into uh, industrial graphics. So another thing that uh, uh, needs to be pointed out, natively when you save uh, within Inkscape, it tries to add some additional information into the F SVG file. So by default, you're saving as an Inkscape SVG. And I'm not exactly sure what that additional information is, but I always make sure that when I do this, I save as a plain SVG. There may be some other supported types here, either optimized. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but I do know that plain works. So I've been saving those uh, as plain SVGs, which you'll see in a minute. And when I replace it, prompted me to replace that. So now let's go over to our industrial graphics editor. And if I bring this up here, um, and um, a couple of things to note, you can in the industrial graphics editor import an SVG. And this is going to get then give me the um, uh, ability to bring in SVGs here and uh, uh, convert those into industrial graphics. But I'm going to show you a, a neat little shortcut here. So what I'm going to do is just have the uh, file uh, browser open here, the file, uh, 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 again, browser here. And uh, I'm just going to drag and drop 
the file onto my industrial graphics editor and you can see here that it brought that in all in one fell swoop just nice and easy and again uh, going back to what I had shown before in Inkscape uh, you can see here that it has these um, the three panes the bottom left the bottom right and then as I expand this and again these are now um, industrial graphics objects so if I double click on them I can add uh, normal animations and um, uh, visualization uh, uh, things to these so just uh, uh, be aware that it is uh, now industrial graphics objects so um, just some things to note that um, where we have matching objects from SVG objects, the entire spec of SVG is not supported. Uh, this is our first pass at this. So we have uh, imported, you know, the things like rectangles and, and uh, some shapes and circles and ellipses and things of that nature. But all graphics objects in SVG, the entire specification is not supported. Clipping and masking is not supported. Um, but you can see to get some nice, simple design elements in, uh, we have this and we will be enhancing uh, the capabilities in upcoming versions. So, so stay tuned to that. Um, and uh, just wanted to give you that little tidbit and make sure you're aware of this. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.